from Loretto Abbey, home to the Sisters of Loretto since 1928, and the Loretto Abbey Secondary School, and with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. And welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. My name is Father Jack Lynch, and our homilist today is Deacon Mike Walsh. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first is Bridget from Scarborough, Ontario, for her daughter's health and successful recovery from surgery in memory of Jacob Arcuno, who passed away five years ago today, and for her family. The second are Hans and Louise from Halifax, Nova Scotia, in thanksgiving for their first granddaughter, Maud, and for the safe arrival of their second granddaughter, Zoe, for the repose of the soul of Catherine Mackenzie and for the members of her family. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this telecast, and today we wish Louise a very happy birthday. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather this day to celebrate our communion with our God and our communion with Jesus, we acknowledge that God has gifted us so much, and yet so often we haven't expressed gratitude for what we've received. And so we acknowledge the lack of gratitude and we ask forgiveness of God and of each other. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on all that we do, for you came to call sinners, and here we are. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. To the reproaches of his friends, Job answered, how can a mortal be just before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not enter him once in a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. He has resisted him and succeeded. Who has resisted him and succeeded? Who can remove mountains and they do not know it? He ha when he overturns them in his anger, who shakes the earth out of its place? and his pillars tremble. Who commands the sun and it does not rise? Who seals up the stars? Who alone stretched out the heavens and trampled the waves of the sea? Who made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the chambers of the south? Who does great things beyond understanding and marvelous things without number? Look. He passes by me, and I do not see him. He moves on, but I do not perceive him. He snatches away. Who can stop him? Who will say to him, what are you doing? How can, how then can I answer him? Choosing my words with him? Though I am innocent, I cannot answer him. I must appeal for mercy to my accuser. If I summoned him and he answered me, I do not believe that he would listen to my voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every day I 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another Jesus said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But as you go, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my house. Jesus said to him, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, my dear friends, I'd just like to introduce myself for those I haven't met. My name is Deacon Mike Walsh. I'm the Executive Director of the National Catholic Broadcasting Council. And I wanted to let you know that because I wanted to start with a thank you. A thank you to all of you in our TV community, our TV, daily TV Mass community, especially those of you who have uh, written to us, responded with respect to the Sunday TV Mass, wishing us uh, well as we, as we bring that Mass to air. Uh, keeping us in your prayers and supporting the Mass, whether it be the Sunday Mass or the, the daily TV Mass. And uh, you heard of our sponsors this morning, uh, or today's Mass, uh, you know, praying for people in their family, people who have passed away, birthdays. You are the people, uh, along with our, our donors and our monthly donors, that make this possible. And I wanted to just share a quick email with you that I got recently from a uh, young man in Africa. Uh, his name is Matthias, so I hope he's listening on the internet, because he sent us an email and it said this, uh, and he really sent this to all of you in our community. He said, I want to use this opportunity to thank the National Catholic Broadcasting Community, all of you, and the sponsors of the Daily TV Mass for their efforts, commitment, good work for bringing us this program. Indeed, it has been my greatest joy and wonderful moment ever after getting a job in July. Due to the nature of the job, I have not been able to attend Mass or go to church. But today I am happy to be with you online to follow the Mass celebration. And as I have been long, as it has been a long awaited opportunity, he says, I will never fail to attend my Mass again. He says, I pray for all of you and Lord bless you. And may you can, and one day he hopes, he says, to be able to contribute to the program so that it can go on. So this Mass really goes all around the world now, all across Canada and around the world, and it means so much to everyone. I did want to tell you one little thing. It's a little bit of what that's term called inside baseball, maybe, what goes on, how this Mass comes together. One of the things we do is we tape the Mass in advance. I know most of you know that. Some of you are surprised by that. And I often get asked, well, why don't you just show it live? Well. I'm learning about the TV business. It's more complicated than you might think. And there's a lot of technical work that goes into making this mass possible. For example, it needs to be closed captioned for those of you who have a hard time hearing or, or seeing. It needs to get ready for the web so that Matthias and the rest of the 15 or 16,000 people a day that watch it. But then there's situations like yesterday. So we were here taping the mass at four o'clock yesterday. Father Bush was here and right in the middle of what is a much better homily than what you're hearing right now, uh, the power went out. And so if we had been live, we would have been in real trouble. Uh, and uh, I want to thank Father Jack for being with us today and celebrating two Masses so that we can bring you this Mass and, and keep going. The other thing I wanted to say was a big thank you to the Sisters of Loretto. Uh, as you know, we've been, been uh, guests here for the last three years. They've been part of our community and our congregation. They're going to be leaving us in early November as they move to their new home, and we're going to miss them. And so I wanted to take an opportunity to invite each and every one of you, especially those that live in Toronto. I understand that if you live in Europe or someplace else like that, it may be hard to get here for the tapings. But if you're ever in the Toronto area, make sure you call us. We're here most Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and we love to have you in our congregation uh, to be part of sharing this with everybody 
around the world. You can call our office at any time. We'll have the phone number up at the end of Mass. Email us, just visit our website, because we do change from time to time. Sometimes there's a slight change in the uh, schedule, but we, we'd love to have you here. And then I want to close this first part by talking about the Sunday TV Mass. I hope most of you have found it uh, on our various channels that were on Vision TV, uh, Hope TV, which is about to be renamed Faith TV, and Joy TV, and Yes TV in Ontario and Alberta. Uh, if you haven't, if you're having trouble finding it again, copy down the number at the end of Mass and call us and we'll, we'll help you find the channel that it's on. Uh, it's really been quite a gift. There's been two great pioneers in this TV Mass community uh, over the years. Uh, 20 years ago, our founder, founding director, Michael McManus, had the vision along with Bishop John Sherlock and the others that the best way to bring the church to the TV audience was to bring Mass every day. And so that the TV Mass was launched from Monday to Saturday. And the reason it wasn't on Sunday was because there was another volunteer or another visionary, Monsignor Brad Massman, who had 10 years before that, started the Sunday Mass for the TV community. Monsignor Massman retired and uh, he was so generous along with Michael, they both work with me, I don't know anything about TV, they worked with me so that we could bring this Mass together. And the one thing that I really want to say about it is, it is, is, over three years now I've come to understand this, that we are this community. There's a few of us here that come to the tapings. We hope more will come. The, most of you watch us on your TV set, wherever it might be, sometimes multiple times a day on the internet, but we are a community. And in the gospel today, we have the disciples of Jesus following him all around saying, I will follow you anywhere. And what Jesus says is, listen, I, I like, thank you very much for that. But what he's really saying is how difficult that really is to come and follow him how difficult that task might be. And so he continues to invite us and he says, come, follow us. And the way we do that as a community, as a TV mass community, is we do that largely through prayer. No matter where we are, what, form, what state of life we're in, whether it's hard to get out now, whatever it is, we're all connected through prayer. And so I invite you to continue to join us in that prayer. To join our prayer circle, we have a, an email that goes out at the start of every month, it'll be going out maybe a little bit more, where we invite thousands of people to come and pray that, pray with us as a community. And in November, we're going to have two special um, in invitations for you as the community to join us in prayer. That one, the first one is going to be, month, uh, November is the month of remembrance. The church in a very special way dedicates November to, to intercessory prayer or petitions made on behalf of the poor souls in purgatory. It's something as a community we believe is helpful and that really gets us going. And so we're going to be doing our Book of Remembrance again in, uh, in November. Again, copy down the phone number. You can email us. We'll put the names of your loved ones in the Book of Remembrance and we'll pray for them. And the second thing, this is the first time we've done this, we're going to have a week of Masses leading up to the World Day of the Poor. Pope Francis has declared uh, November, Sunday, November 18th as the second World Day of the Poor. And so we're going to have a whole series of Masses where the homeless will, will talk about what it means to come follow Jesus and to be with the poor. And so again, we're going to invite you to come and join us as a community of prayer as we really keep that call that Jesus said to us in mind when he said, come, follow me. And so now I ask you to join in prayer as we come together to pray as a community. For all of those in our daily TV Mass community, that we respond to the call of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, who asked that parish communities, associations, and many prayer groups present in the church not yield to discouragement, but to continue praying that the Lord will send workers to his harvest. And for this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our young people, that they may continue to follow Christ at every stage of their journey, that they show them, that we also show them by our word and our deed, that Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. We pray to the Lord. The Lord be and for all in the TV, Taylor TV Mass community who have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, we pray that during this time of thanksgiving, may we always be truthful and grateful for all of our gifts 
and willing to share our goods and talents with others. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God, who calls us to devote and, and to a devout and holy life, grant that your spirit of love and thoughtful faithfulness in prayer, we may find the way to divine knowledge, so, and so come to see the hidden things of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Thank you. Thank you. We pray, friends, that this sacrifice, mine and yours, may become acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of Jesus, for all the good of the Holy Church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts lift them up to the Lord. and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. It's our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For like the blood of your martyrs poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, and make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and the entire church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And faithful to the teaching of Jesus, we pray just as he taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. God bless, brothers. <laughs> God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may Almighty God bless you, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Remember, if you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep Daily Mass on television. And you'll receive an income tax receipt for your donation. Oh,